All right, what's up, Yens guys? Got a little trick for you today. I never got around to showing you in a tutorial. This is one of my, I, I don't want to say for sure if this is one of the most important stuff, because uh, I'll say this and that is uh, important. I don't want to tell you this is more important than that, because I'm always undecided on that, but it's a trick I never got around to telling you about barefoot clinging to the floor. I've seen people that do this real well on Instagram and other stuff. And this is a really fun thing to do. Say you're behind everybody else in your splits and everything. And say, I always preach, if you can't do the splits completely, like I said, I never planned on it uh, when I was doing a lot of my stuff. But concentrate on uh, standing like this just as much as you can and use a non-slippery floor. Sometimes you want a slippery surface and then sometimes you want a non-slippery surface. Reason being, you know, you can always like this. And I always preach, always, even if you can do the splits, do some of this and monitor uh, those different uh, muscle groups and tendons that are, say you start out like this. Do nothing but sessions of nothing like this. Stand there while you're maybe playing a game or watching TV. Yeah, and it's a no-brainer if you do a whole tutorial on that. It's going to be boring as hell. But then, say, when you gradually get a little more, a little more, try to stand like this for as long as you can. I mean, there's this one dude and chick I've seen on uh, Instagram that can do this, go all the way down with no hands, come up. But since a lot of my stuff is based on a lot of walking back and forth, say, with bent knee and coming out of it, Doing a lot of this, say you can't. Say you even don't care if you're ever able to do the splits. Doing a lot of this is real important. I always preach in different occupations that I've done. You know, I mean, everything from you know barefoot and steel toe boots. But uh, and I really should be tying my hair too. But uh, say I preach a lot of this, even if you can't do the splits, a lot of this because a lot of my stuff is based on a lot of. Uh, walking back and forth bare knuckles like a gorilla. And it's uh, based on a lot of stuff I talk about later in videos. Uh, my version of evolution, unlike the evolution teachings that are uh, designed to argue with uh, Christian fanatics on YouTube, mine's more practical. But anyway, uh, always be able to, I like to use his fist first, but this works too. And every single thing you do is, at the same time, flexing the upper, upper body, excuse me, and triceps, and, and on fist as much as possible. But say you can't do what everybody else on on uh, these other sites and splits. Maybe you don't know if you're, you know, always be comfortable with be able to catch yourself, you know, and do a push-up. Not just do a push-up, sit like this for like a real long time. So, uh and get back to this position right like this stand like this like for like a while and then over a period of time do a little more a little more a little more I almost wish that I kept my failure videos my sucky videos because I believe that your sucky videos from your past should actually be able to look back on and teach you something and teach other people stuff uh, yeah where the hell is the people from 20 years ago, my suckier exercise videos that I scrapped, I deleted. I wish I still had some of them. I almost want to duplicate or imitate what some of my earlier videos were. Those should be something to teach you something. And you can look back on if you have them. But anyway, like this, and say you stay like this for like a while. Now this, you're not going to be able to hold it completely. But <laughs> you're going to start, whoa, you're going to start going down but like unlike everybody else you've got to tune yourself up again every day everybody else can just drop right down on them splits i think more women are able to do that a lot of dudes are able to do it but there are people pretty damn good even the dudes there's these dancers but a lot of us that can do the stuff like this you got to tune yourself up in the beginning of the day day uh, before you go into a full split because some of us are not perfect 
And uh, you can actually tear something, so you should do some prerequisite exercise. They get up in the morning and do a complete... If you can do a complete one like some of these professionals, professional martial artists, martial artists, excuse me, or dancers, more power to you, but some of us have different leg types and different things in our feet. It shouldn't discourage you, but if you want to take the yoga route or whatever the hell, or or uh, not pretending to be Bruce Lee or whatever or whatever, but none of us are totally perfect like everybody else. Even one of the best, I think, YouTubers, I don't even, I'm bad with names, I remember his face, but I won't bully the trumpet with his name, but he was on one of the other social medias, not YouTube, I saw him there. I was using some of these other social media like Rumble and that he was on there, he was talking about, I mean, this dude was good. He talked about how he ripped something, it was taking a while to heal doing splits. So it happens to the best of them, so I'd rather see you, uh, you know, be safe and do something, you know. But like I said, it's based on, you don't always want to call it yoga. You're like doing some work and you don't want to get, you know, I'd rather have knee pads to get that down and doing work. But say you're looking under a car, we all do this work, we're doing a form of yoga when I think about it. Say you're looking under the car, you don't want to get on your knees, You all, everybody got that weird way, ah, we want to see something under a car and... You're kind of getting <clears throat> ditting down and that should teach you something. Say you got to go and be looking under your car all the time. <clears throat> Ironically, that seems to <clears throat> something that's associated with that. And also, you should actually tie your hair too, by the way. <laughs> but I didn't today, so. And then say like that. And that's, whoa, see, that's how you do it, like that. You may have to do a couple of times, but you get the idea. I think my partner wants to come out and sit on the porch, so I better call this at, uh, end of a video.